This is a drawing tablet. What drawing tablets do are basically you take them and you plug it into your computer and they bridge the gap between uh, traditional art and digital art. So basically if you're normally a traditional artist, you can get one of these for your computer or a uh, laptop or wherever you want and you can hook this bad boy up and you basically be drawing just like you had a pen and pencil and a piece of paper. Most tablets come with a pen, I really haven't seen any that haven't, but uh, basically you just take the pen that comes with it, or if you have to buy like an extra one or anything, take the pen that comes with it and you can just draw right on the tablet and it should come up on your computer screen uh, after you've installed the drivers and everything. So let's head over to the computer and we can check this bad boy out. Alright, so now that we have the tablet all plugged in and the drivers all installed, uh, with most tablets you can just hover the pen a little bit above the surface of the tablet, and then you can move your cursor around the screen just as a normal mouse would. And then if you want to click, you just tap the pen onto the surface and do whatever you kind of want. And if you want to like open a file, you just have to double tap on the surface, and it should open not opening probably because I have to be more precise but whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and open Photoshop and show you guys kind of how this works a little better in a uh, photo editing software so normally you just have to have the uh, tablet all set up and everything and then you can just use it just as a normal mouse so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file here now that actually those dimensions look a little wonky. So I'm going to change the pixel resolution to be like 2000 by 2000, let's say. Not 5000. There we go. I have my keyboard off to the side, off to the side a little bit so it's hard to type kind of. But yeah, so now that we have this in here, all we have to do is select the brush tool up here on our toolbar and you just have to drag your mount or your pen across the screen and you can draw on stuff. Uh, if you want to have shape dynamics, which is basically the harder you push, the thicker the line is, then in Photoshop anyway, you have to have uh, this little window over here. And if you don't see this anywhere in your Photoshop area, you just have to go up to here to window and then I think it's brush. Yeah. So then, so it's window, and go down to brush, and you should see something like this over here. Oops, kicking the tripod. You just have to, and then you go into shape dynamics, and under control here, you select pen pressure. So then that means the harder that I push the pen down on the tablet, the thicker the line will be. So that's kind of how tablets work. Um, in a lot of cases you will have buttons like on the pen and I have a bunch over here on the side and technically I do have virtual buttons up here on the top of my tablet but I don't really use those that much because they do different things that I'm not familiar with but yeah um, a lot of these buttons up here are pretty useful like this top one is undo uh, this one I think switches to the eraser this one's pen zoom in and zoom out this one can change the size of your pen, so you can make it bigger or smaller, however you want to do it. And then undo. And uh, this one, this tool on the very bottom of the last button, you can, I really can't really see it very well since there's nothing on the paper, but you can grab it and drag it around. So that's normally used with the space bar. But yeah, so a couple of cons for this specific tab. Like, by the way, I'm using a Huey on... I don't know the model. Here be. Okay, it actually doesn't say on the box, but it does say right here on the back. I'm using a Huey on H610 Pro. So that is the tablet that I'm using. I feel like it's pretty good for a beginners, just because it's, well, it's somewhat decent and it's only like $80. So... I would get this specific, I would get this tablet if you are looking to 
trying to jump into graphics design and digital art, but you don't want to spend like $500 on a Wacom tablet or whatever. So yeah, uh, some cons to this tablet is occasionally when I uh, go to the do the undo button, uh, it'll actually stay, let me see if I can get it, like, it's, it'll be like, it, I'm still holding the button, but I'm actually not, I think I just got it there, but, but anyway, I'm sure you get the point, like if I undo, then it'll, it won't keep undoing, but it'll be like I'm just holding the button, and then I get that icon. Um, that kind of happens too with the grab tool, although these are minor annoyances and they're not really a big deal because all you have to do is press the button again and it gets rid of it. So yeah, um, I'd say some pros are these buttons up here are actually really nice to have, even though I don't use them much. If you do want to assign them to whatever you want, then you can do that. And also you can change what these buttons do on the side too. All you have to do is go into the program that the tablet comes with and you're pretty much good to go. You can change it to whatever you want it to do. But yeah. Uh, another con is that sometimes uh, with this uh, pen thing here, the part that goes in sometimes gets, it like squeaks kind of when you're doing it at a shallow angle. Although I've kind of gotten used to it and I've started to do it more like more downwards because that's how they want you to do it but a lot of or I'm more naturally like to write like this just because that's how I use my pen and pencil when I was a child also quick uh, mention but it does come with this uh, little holder here for your pen that when you're not using it you can put it in there and keep it for safekeeping and on the inside it does come with four replacement tips if any of them break or start to get ill. I haven't had to use this so far so that's good and I'm gonna put this back over here but yeah I think that's pretty much it again if you want to get a tablet uh, and you're starting out I would recommend this one uh, for me it's been pretty good you can check out some of my other videos that I've done with it it's actually it works pretty nice you just have to get used to it I think and like most people think that using a tablet that you're not staring at like where you're drawing will be kind of hard but after you've used it for like a week or two it, you, after you've used it for like a week or two it really shouldn't be super hard you should get used to it and I'd say the most it would take for you to get used to it is like maybe a month and for some people who are really good maybe like a couple days of use and yeah so I don't honestly think it's that hard uh, to you know do intricate drawings when your hand is down here and you're looking up there so I could make a star that was a bad star that's also a bad star there we go so that's a star I do a circle my circles are actually really bad I need to work on them you know, it's triangle, and you can write just fine, just like you would on normal paper. Yeah, and um, you can kind of tell where your hand is by the cursor on uh, your screen. I actually don't think I'm recording my cursor right now, so you guys can't really see it. But like, there's just a little circle running around wherever my pen goes. And when I push down on it, I can see where the marks are. So yeah, guys, that has pretty... I think that's pretty much all I've wanted to say for this video. One thing that I totally forgot to mention that a lot of you were probably really confused by is what the heck is on my hand? Now, pretty much what this is, is it's a really, really super ghetto uh, smudge guard. Now, basically what smudge guards are, are they, they are um, gloves, like, on half of your hand that... When you're using tablets, your hand will slide around a lot better. Because if I don't have this on, my hand is kind of, it gets, uh, how do I want to say this, moist? I don't know. But it like starts, it's harder to move because like your hand is kind of damp or I don't know what to call it. But if you have your smudge guard on, then you can move your hand around a lot better because there's a layer of cloth in between you and your tablet and you want it to be in half so you can still like use your fingers on your pen and everything and move around now this is just super 
ghetto DIY sponge guard because I just took a random glove and cut it in half and slapped it on my hand. It is getting a little bit frayed, so I probably should get a professional one, but meh, I don't really feel like it because this is working pretty much just fine for me so far. So yeah, um, again, if you want to check out some of the videos that I've done with my tablet, uh, there will be an annotation somewhere in the video, and if you're on mobile, there will be a little cards. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and I guess I will see you guys later. If you have any uh, questions or comments or concerns, definitely make sure to leave them in the comment section below, and I will answer as many as I can. So yeah, yeah guys, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time.